On the corner of Park Avenue and Allen Street in State College, Pennsylvania, the loud tremor of working vehicles and machinery continues to roar on in construction of the Catholic Student Faith Center. Officially named the Suzanne Poland Paterno Catholic Student Faith Center, this building is soon to become the home of Penn State Catholic students. The center is named after Sue Paterno in recognition of her long-lasting devotion to the Catholic community. Paterno says the creation of the center has come after years and years of planning. Well, it's been a long time coming, actually. Worked with this in, 90, in the early 90s trying to find a home for the Catholic students because we do have more than 10,000 Catholic students. Research completed by Georgetown University scholars reinforces Paterno's statement in that Catholics make up the single largest faith group in the United States with approximately 23% of adults self-identifying as such. Penn State Catholic Campus Ministry priest Father David Griffin explains that the center is needed to embody the large Catholic community and also create additional space. When I first arrived here before the Pasquale Center was built, the Catholic community celebrated Mass on the weekends in at least five different locations depending on availability. We never had a place that we, we could call our own as far as a, a central location. Catholic campus ministry priest Father Matthew Lassie says the Pascarilla Spiritual Center has been great, yet the Paternal Catholic Center will give Catholic students a certain comfort and familiarity. Our center that we're building will be a place where we know we can find like-mindedness and, and, and in a good sense, where we could find people on the same page people with whom to share our faith, share our prayers. Research scholars say that college students have difficulty in maintaining their spiritual or religious beliefs throughout college because of encountering contrast or difference. Father David sees this to be true and believes the center will be a solution to the situation. They see a variety of lifestyles, a variety of opinions, a variety of attitudes toward major issues and minor issues. So I think it's a time where they're, they're being challenged in their own faith system. And to have a Catholic center it allows them to have a, a base. Specifically, studies show that students at public and non-religious universities like Penn State are more likely to have difficulty sustaining their spirituality. The creation of the Paternal Catholic Center will be an effort to help those students maintain their faith. Penn State sophomore and devout Catholic Andrea Spinelli is looking forward to the grounding and tradition that the center will provide Catholic students here at Penn State. I'm very excited for the new center, for all the Catholic students on campus to really have a place that they feel at home and that they can go to to have meetings and things like that. I just think it will be a great addition to the campus. The Paterno Catholic Center is a few months away from being completed, and Sue Paterno could not be any happier about it. What do I look for most? This is finally, well, it's a dream, it was a vision, and it's going to be reality, and I think it's going to be very good for our students. After over 20 years of planning, constructing, and waiting, the Catholic Center will open this summer, and as Paterno said, the dreams of many will become a reality for all. Reporting for Com Radio, I'm John Blauvelt.